Hey guys, welcome to another video in Sarnout. Uh, this video I'm gonna go quickly over the change they've done to the winter event. Because um, they did quite a few changes without mentioning on the first patch notes. That's why I'm gonna make this video because I wanted to give the right info out there for people. So they know what's going on and they don't miss out on time because these are limited events. These are events that have a deadline for people. Not everybody has enough time to grind all these things. And it's probably going to take another week or so until they finally put out the right patch notes for this uh, stuff. So I want to go through this with you guys uh, right off the bat here uh, on the changes they've done in the, in the shops. Because there's new items added, there's some changes in mechanics to farm the winter at all. So my old videos are partly outdated. I'll make links on them as well to keep people up to date. Um, but so I want to do this video quickly. So I waited one day to get my head around changes and then the second day today is the one where I made a video with all the changes they've done. Alright, so first things first here that I want to show was my browser. So when we go to the browser here, first thing you will see is on the forum, uh, they put new update patch notes here. As usual, the link is directing to the wrong patch notes, so you have to scroll a bit. Scroll a lot actually. Um, so the first patch notes they added are these two. So these were two were the added things they done with the last patch notes. Uh, so point 0.64 and point 0.68. Um, of course these patch notes are completely wrong, but there's no use discussing that because my forum post got deleted already. We all know that this is not true. This was two weeks ago. I have no idea about this, never noticed it was bugged. Uh, they put um, extra timers on them, doesn't matter, um, you're here for the winter event. So what I want to show with this is that it's not in the patch notes yet. So there are changes already in the game, but they're not informed to the players. But everything they did post here is simply a copy paste from the Russian patch notes. And it's never the same, like the stuff that they have on their patch. So when they unlock a certain new layer on a certain patch, for EU it's differently. We get it on a different date. So everything added here is wrong. So that's why they also have these things here saying um, everything could be different for EU just to prevent themselves from these mistakes. So they're basically excusing them from every mistake there is in the patch notes because they never read or know what's going on in the game. They have no clue. They simply copy paste everything. And that's very sad to see so when players are pointing out the problems on a consistent, consistent basis and when the player base is visibly already giving up on this game because people don't care anymore if it's right or wrong they simply don't care they log into their raid stick they cash to get the new stuff and they're out of here they don't play the game anymore they're not annoyed when stuff is wrong because they have given up but the patch notes that are posted here are completely wrong just wanted to to point that out because the actual patch notes are the next ones we're gonna get i'm using the russian form here because as a reference points they already have the patch notes so the winter resort is apparently for 0.73 if you look at our uh, patch note, we have 0.68.1, so we don't have this patch yet, although these changes are already in the game. That's what the video is about, to let you guys know that this change is already active, because the winter event has a limited time, you know, there's a, a time limited deadline when they stop the event, and by the time European players get informed officially by the moderators that these changes are applied, will be already one week later, and there's going to be less time for the for people to complete these things. That's my main point of getting this video out is to inform you guys that this winter resort stuff is already here and for people that wanna grind this stuff, get the new vanity items, the new mounts uh, that I'm about to show you in this video it are already active but you'll only find out a week later if you go by the information from the forum and the moderator. To begin with, they added new rewards to the vendors uh, both for winter resort and new years so we'll go over that in the video. What these two basically mean is that your current snowflakes have been converted to melting snowflakes um, and your vintage, your vintage new year card, so the new year currency has been converted into vintage. So it means that the, both currencies became the old currencies, which is the same thing you did with Tropical Atoll with your seashells. Uh, they added a new task, Winter Fun, which can be obtained. That's a new uh, quest that they added. Um, new task, Extreme Sports, is also a new quest, but I haven't seen this one yet in game, so I'm assuming this will be hot fixed at some point. Snow Battle uh, quest is disabled. They have removed this quest indeed. So the Snow Battle was the one we used to have uh, to get infinite amount of snowballs in a very short time. That's now been removed. You cannot do that no longer. You can now get the task, Love to Write, Love and Write, and Climb to the Top. Uh, I'm assuming this was there before already, I guess not, 
Um, so this is either something new that I have not seen yet or this is something that I already know of and I'm not sure what that is. The winter fishing um, is now 3. I, I believe it was 5 before so they made it uh, faster to complete this quest than before. Gallon procession quest. This is a new quest that you simply run through the village. You'll see it in the video. Contextual actions can now be used while driving. Uh, driving means moving. So your abilities can now be done while you move. I'm assuming before on Aryo people were doing those um, things that you had to do to complete it, to get bonus events for the gifts for the quest. But you couldn't do that while walking. Now you can do it while moving. Figure skating can no longer receive a reward for completing tricks. It is now included in the reward for the task itself. So that's self-explanatory. Uh, the light in the dark reduces the speed of setting the levels of the effect cold. So this cold debuff effect was what made you freeze and fail the quest and you had to start over. These uh, stacks are now accumulating in a slower uh, fashion. So it's a lot easier to do this quest because you would fail a lot less. The real snowman quest you can now get it from cheap breads. That means this quest has been moved to another NPC. Yeah, so the initial NPC that gave this quest has also been removed and this quest has been moved now to the NPC that's more local center for the New Year's uh, events. Um, and the Vandal effect is no longer um, no longer brings rewards for destroying snowmen. To be more accurate of what I've seen in game is that the Vandal effect that we used to use to grind a lot of snowballs in a short time simply doesn't exist anymore. You don't get Vandal buff anymore when you destroy a snowman. So that is the changes they've done in these patch notes for the winter resort. I made a sheet as well, it's not really a good sheet, but if you would like it's in the description um, on how much gives what each quest gives how much of which currency if you can use it to contribute your gift search which is your daily quest you want to get done um, and then a small description of what everything does really now remember as well that if you do have your all from last year or you get it this year you can use it to freely uh, fly around in the whole uh, zone of winter at all just like you can in the private a lot on your maze uh, which is very handy to get around for stuff so it's uh, of course a big plus if you have access to this mount now for the rewards that did change what they updated to the store with this update are quite a few things actually that is worth grinding for if you like to collect everything starting with the souvenirs they added special masks so they have a, a hair mask, they have a bear mask, they have a wolf mask, and a squirrel mask. They also have a pet called Stamp, now you can't preview Stamp, you can't preview the wardrobe. It's probably one of those pets that are not showing unless you own it, just like with the rating PvP costume sets, it's the same thing. You, if you don't own the costume, you won't see it in the wardrobe, unless you have the costume, then you'll see it. It's probably something like this, so I can't show you this yet. Um, then everything else is the old stuff that you can buy with melting snowflakes which is basically snowflakes from before when the update came now if you're new and you want to get something that you still don't have from the old stuff you can still get it by converting your current snowflakes that you farm by exchanging them for old ones the ratio is one to one then for mounts and color patterns, uh, I noticed on free to play as well that bell color is the same one, but on free to play it goes 160%, here it goes 155%, uh, the difference is very minimal. Now I did read on the Russian forum that people are only, avail uh, only able to collect few, 5000. I don't see it here, so I guess this got hot fixed. So as you can see, she shells have a limit from tropical at all. New Year card has a limit as well, but uh, there's no limit for the snowflake, so I'm assuming snowflake is working fine, so you can go all the way up to this. I'm just mentioning this because the Russian forum was complaining that people could only farm up to 5000, obviously making this unable to receive. Uh, all the other stuff, the magic furnace mount, the carpet mount and skin of course. So this is the carpet mount, it's for 950 old uh, snowflakes, the magic furnace it's for 4,400 old snowflakes. The cell plane is for 1,100. And then the fury is for 550. It's for 550 old snowflake. Is another vendor that has more stuff to offer. And this little guy uh, so this is the same as tip now. It's not the same. 
So here are the dragon masks basically. So this is, I know this is already pretty old on free to play. People could get it there for a while now, but I believe it was cash up only. Uh, here it is for new year cards. So there's different currency here. This here is everything from the new year. And in the center it's everything from the snowflakes. You could see like this. So you want to stuff, get stuff from here, you have to farm the uh, new year cards. And then the old version of the new year cards are vintage new year cards. Um, now you can buy old new year cards for your coins to get stuff that you that is outdated from the from before that you don't own yet to still get them. Um, to get the new stuff you simply have to do the grindy stuff here and farm them. Um, there is no new mount skins added so all the mount skins are still the vintage cards. So you can farm them and trade them for coins. Or exchange your new cards for the old cards. Exchange your souvenirs for new year cards. You could do that when you open gifts uh, that you get from doing stuff. You could get items that you could hand in for that. Colorful pouch gave me fireworks and some buff food. Again, this is the same like the fish. If you use it, the timer begins and it's going to give you a buff. It could be vitality, it could be bloodless, it could be willpower. It could be all of those things. As an example, the fried cod, the fish gives you vitality. The tangerines give you willpower. The herbal tincture gives you willpower. So that's the same. But the tangerines are slightly better. The mulled wine gives you vitality. And the carrot gives you bloodlust. Of course, there are better foods to get than these. These are only giving 25 slash 27, uh, but they're free, yeah? And you can save them for as long as you don't right click them. Now, as you open the gifts as well, um, as you saw me open the, the gifts that I got in my bag, you have a chance, I believe, on getting the Greedy Father Winter. And only with this buff active, you're allowed to interact with the canes, yeah? So you, you'll see that you can't interact with the candy canes. You can only do it when you have the Greedy Father buff. And then you simply can destroy 10 of them. So once you've defeated or destroyed 10 canes, you simply get 4 pouches. I got 4 pouches, it could be random I believe. Uh, with a small range of course, but there's 4 pouches and 1 new year gift box. New year gift box gives you another 2 pouches, so it just stacks up everything into pouch. And you get fireworks and confetti. And 6 new year gifts. So the pouches are for the new year cards actually and then the other uh, gifts, the winter gifts are probably for the snowflakes. That is for the updated shops and for the greedy father. Alright, next up we have here, when you move more towards the middle you see a few more quests as well. First thing you see here is it has three quests. So the gift search is the one that I meant all the time where gifts will randomly spawn during content you do. Um, to complete this quest, once the quest is fulfilled though, you won't be having those gifts spawn anymore. So this is also your bottleneck of farming extra stuff because of the winter gifts you'll be getting. These ones here, you'll be only getting 50 a day basically because of this quest. If you don't have this quest, you won't be getting these winter gifts anymore from anything else. What this actually give you is, uh, as you can see, fireworks. They give you some currency as well. So they give you new year fireworks, they give you new year cards in uh, pieces of 10, they give you random uh, vanity pieces as well and they give you winter, um, they give you snowflakes as well. So they give you all the currencies you can get in quite a good amount. So these winter gifts are a good way to farm but they're bottlenecked to only 50 a day per reincarnation. So you could do this on every reincarnation every day. So by using your reincarnations, you could uh, circumvent the bottlenecks a bit on this winter at all. Some of the vanity stuff you will get is also tradable. Now these are bound that I got, but some of them will be tradable. It's also random and I believe everything that's in the vendor could drop. So everything in this vendor could be dropping. If you're very lucky, I suppose these newly added masks could drop as well. And the Luminary of Joy is simply 
uh, repelling yourself from ghosts that will appear you have a buff and an ability and as you move around you attract ghosts to you and you have to scare them away by using the ability on them and that is luminary of joy for you so that is three new cards each and a colorful pouch so then the snowman gift true snowman quest here allows you to craft a snowman First, you have to go for the branches up here. Now, as people would, uh, if people would recognize the snowman gift, that's what we used to do to craft snowmen, and then had someone vandalize the snowman, and then we could have the vandalize buff on that person, and throw snowballs at that person to infinitely farm these gifts and currencies. Now, that's also been removed. This, the vandal buff is no longer applied. Um, when you destroy the snowman, the snowman is simply to drop anywhere you like. You build it using six times the items, and then you can hand in the quest and get your reward. You cannot kill your own snowman anymore. Uh, someone else can kill it, and it's going to drop one gift for that person. So you build the snowman more for other people to do. Your reward is from the quest, so it's a complementing system. This is pretty good to help other people get the stuff, but if you don't see a lot of people, it's not worth really doing. There's other stuff better to be done. That it is a true snowman for you. Then next up we have here at Chishu is light in the dark. This is the one where you simply run the lamps up the mountain. As you run along the path, you simply have to interact with 8 lamps in total. As you run, you'll build up frost stacks. Now they've nerfed this, it was stacking up very fast before. Um, now it's stacking up rather slowly and you have to get to each lap in within th 30 seconds every time you touch a new lamp so every time you touch a new lamp the timer resets and you have 30 seconds to reach the next lamp you see that the first attacks stack up over time and you're being changed by the ghosts as well they do apply the stacks the moment they get to you I guess they kind of do a, some kind of a non-damage basic attack that applies the stack every time you hit the lamp as well they get scared away from 10 seconds of course others spawn at a uh, meanwhile and go for you instead so the ones that are cc that just cc uh it goes up to five stacks so make sure you use the interaction button before you hit five stacks so on four stacks you can do it before and dance but i think that's a waste of time try to also do it right after you hit a lamp to get rid of your buffs because the more stacks you have as well the slower you will be running one thing that made me already fuck up sometimes is when you would do the interaction button to get rid of your stacks and you move by accident, the cooldown is too long and you probably get 5 stacks and reset it. If you do get 5 stacks, you simply fail the quest, you have to discard it and go back to the beginning and begin from zero. So once you head in the quest, you get your rewards. And it is light in the dark explained for you. The next up we have the figure skating. So figure skating simply lets you go around on the on the ice and you have to grab the balls that spawn in order for you to be able to use these abilities. And you simply use the abilities and that's it. Whatever pops up. There used to be, I believe, before the changes, you could you had to look which buff it showed and you had to do the correct one. If you did the wrong one, you would fall. You can still fall at random, I believe. There's no sharp turning to make you fall, but there is the ice that will crack. And you might freeze in for example if you fell like I did right now on the crack you will be frozen and you'll be spawning at the fireplace I'll show it in a bit after you simply complete the quest again if you have the find gifts quest active you'll see gifts spawning at random and whenever you grab these gifts you get one extra winter gift As long as you don't have the quest completed, you'll be able to make him spawn. The moment when you get 50 of these from the find, find qu gift quest, no matter whether you had it in or not, these gifts will stop spawning for every content you do in the winter at all. So if you happen to fall on the ice crack, it's going to take enough time to make you fall through them and you'll spawn at the fireplace over there. There's no punishment to this, you simply have to go back, the quest doesn't restart, it's simply, I have no idea what it's for actually, I have no idea what the purpose is of this, 
it doesn't finish the player, it doesn't set you back, you simply run back and you continue where you left off. So that is figure skating for you. Next up we have winter fishing. Winter fishing is a pretty easy one. Now there's a few spots you can do winter fishing on. Uh, over here, over here, over here and over there one as well. There is no difference between either spots. You'll have to do winter fishing as well if you want to do the fishing quest. The fishing quest is still on the bottom, on the top right corner to see uh, how to do the fishing quest if you're not sure on, on that. Uh, but this is simply the daily one. Now they did re re nerf this as you saw on the patch notes. You, before we had to have 5 fishes each time for the quest completion. Now it's only 3 fishes for the quest completion. Gives you 3 snowflakes, 5 new year cards and a snowflake gift and colorful pouch. Very simply standard is by starting the fish. You have to always start by throwing the bait which is number 2. You only do one time strike when it pops up to knock a stone on the fish I will assume. And then you simply spam the net. And then it's full RNG whether you get shit or not. And every, it might either fail or complete. If it fails to do it again, if it completes, you'll get one out of three. And that's how you continue. Now the fishes that you do get um, are like buffs. So these are without the timer. But when you right click them, they uh, you have a timer starting of three days on them and there are buffs uh, the buffs are the same ones you can basically buy as pve food but they're a bit of lower quality nonetheless the difference is only five stats so it's a good um, alternative to keep them in your bank for when you need some extra buffs for free you don't have to spend gold then for people that are confused i'm referring to the alternatives instead of the food you can buy like Suslanger coconuts and bananas from Suslang, uh, from Suslanger, yeah. Usually they're buffs used by people doing uh, PvE content for dungeons, raids, compasses. Over time you'll see also that you stack up these cold stacks because you get cold the longer this takes. You can use number one to sip infusion to basically drink some vodka. It's going to reduce one stack of frost. Gonna also do a five seconds cast time and you have one stack of vodka. Here, strong drink. One is fine, but then the more you drink at the same time to get rid of your stacks, you'll see that you become more drunk and your screen will alter it. It would be better to do it after you did the cast the baits, so it, it might take a while for you to get a fish so you could drink during that phase, so don't waste time fishing. I'm not sure if this affects your uh, chance of fishing. But you have to basically you have to drink just enough on time so you don't get five frost stacks because that freezes you and you can't do anything anymore. There you go. Once you have the fish, you can't hand the quest in. You actually have to first stop fishing before you can hand it in. So that's with winter fishing for you. Then in the middle of the whole area, in the center really, we have sharp eye steady hand simply you have to make five snowballs and then throw five snowballs at players but the npcs work as well i'm not sure if they're gonna patch that later in the future or not um so when you have the snowballs quest you need to go get snowballs from deep snow piles you get one each pile uh, people will remember that they could make infinite snowballs by taking the battle quest um that you could make a fortress and you would spam snowballs a lot Developers are not dumb, uh, they know that people did that unintended somehow, yeah, that's unintended. So they removed that quest, the quest is disabled as you also saw in the beginning of the video to review the patch notes, they removed that. As you saw I took snowballs from the snowman as well, but those don't count. So you get more snowballs from the snowman at the same time, but they don't count for the quest to progress. So you have to actually get snowballs from the snow piles, then I usually go to the middle here and I throw at the NPC's snowballs. Again, when you have the find uh, gift quest active, you'll have gifts spawning around you every time you throw a snowball, just like it was in my previous video on how to do the winter at all efficiently. They also removed that because that was obviously not attended. The farm was way too fast and people could just grind this whole thing out in one day and every turn. 
So that is um, the steady sharp eye steady hand quest for you. All right, so then this is the quest for the riding the sleigh, the sled. Uh, if you feel like riding, do it. Um, simply take the quest, and you can teleport to the top. I don't know we're all the way here, and you're going to go this blue line for the race, yeah, like so. so. When you enter the area, you will have an interaction button to go on the sled, and you just simply go downhill. Now there will be gifts appearing on the path only when you have the quest find gifts active. That way it's going to give you bonus gifts for doing the content. If you've already done the quest or you don't have the quest taken, it's not going to spawn gifts on the area. This applies to all the content you can do in Windratal. It's going to passively spawn the gifts to give you bonus gifts as you get those. There we go. That's the, if you feel like writing it, do it. There is a um, timed race for this called Slalom. Alright, next up we have the uh, quest that you can see on this NPC, but as you can see on the picture of the screen, um, there's another quest here that is actually called Winter Activities. Now Winter Activities has an icon that makes it repeatable, but I believe they fucked up there and it should be one time used because so far now this is day number two that we have these updated Winter at all, and I did it on the first day and I'm not getting the quest back on either of my reincarnations, so I'm assuming it's only a one time thing. Now it's a big fat reward, it's one of the snowflakes and it's kind of an introduction in the request to the different kind of contents there is. Now what I noticed is that on the, the first day I did this quest I had different um, contents to do in the winter toll than that I had on my ring which I did today. So I believe it might have to be a daily maybe and that uh, requires you to do like two, uh, for example, to do two figure skatings, to two slats of the mountain and do one time throwing snowballs. Um, it could be something else every day, I believe, um, but it's f or either it's bugged and you can't do it daily basis or it's going to be the icon is bugged and it's supposed to be a one time quest thing. But why there were different uh, quests for the other day then, then that's unknown to me. Uh, but that's how the quest works. It's a big feather reward. It's very good to do if it's a daily one. If not, then it's still good to do because it's a big feather reward. 100 snowflakes, very good. Um, and you simply have to do uh, different quests in the winter at all a few times. It's really not a lot of work or time. It's very worth it to do it. So that is the winter activities for you. So this is the um, new quest as well added, Ganlon's Awakening. This one's gonna guide you through the city. You have to prepare yourself in like what you do within uh, Wandering Island with the two commanders. And uh, once they're ready, you'll be going with them. It's always starting five minutes past each hour. So when the hour begins, you have five minutes to queue up and once it's started, you can run along with them. As you go, abilities will pop up, well, buffs will pop up and you have to use one of the abilities that are the same ones. You can't mistake really, only the one available pops up that you have to do. And for every ability you do, you get one new gear card on top of that. You can cast the abilities as you move, so you don't have to stand still at the same time. And this will go all the way until the end uh, to summon Ganlon, to basically praise Ganlon. I tried to loot the Christmas uh, trees as we passed them to get some bonus stuff. There we go. That's the end of the parade. And then to claim your rewards, you still have to go back to where you took the quest and hand it in. And that's how we do the Ganlon's Awakening. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is that you can see here as we fly up above, uh, there's the road here, all the way with these race thingies. 
all the way to the top of the mountain, which is an event that used to be taggable by skirmishes and uh, miscellaneous. But they've removed that. I have no idea why. But I just want just wanted to inform you guys that that is no longer available either. Uh, I'm not sure what, why, what caused this. Achievements are still in the game for this. So if you search for winter, probably. If you search for snow resort, yeah, that's not it. There you go. Events, winter resort. Now, as you can see, take the first place in the ascent. Now, ascent was the thing that you could queue up for, and then when like five or six people did queue up, you would teleport here and or well down below there, um, and you would have to mount on a whatever kind of mount there are. It was an owl and it was a snow beetle, and you had to race to the top really uh, by doing certain stuff. I remember from doing that last year. I didn't record it back then, but uh, they've they've taken it out now. I have no idea why. Now the achievements are still in here. As you can see, so you can take the bug, you can take the O, and then first place five times. So there's the O and the bug that you could take. Um, but they've removed that, I have no idea why. So you cannot sign up anymore, it's gone. Just want to let you guys know that, so that's done. So, this is Extreme Sports, this is the new one that they added. Simply take the quest, of course, ask about Solom, take part in the race. This is only available every, what is it, 5 minutes before the beginning of, uh, 5 minutes after each hour. So when an hour starts, there's a 5 minute queue where you can enter and you get in the queue. And after the 5 minutes, it's gonna begin, which is about in 10 seconds from now. So I believe maybe that's why Ascent has been removed, because now it's used for this kind of stuff. It could be, I'm not sure. Uh, race has started. There you go, and it's an automatic moving thing, uh, you can't stop it of course, like it. I see. Um, I don't think there's abilities here. And you just have to grab the... Get off track, read this up. with these gifts, I'm not sure if I have to go around the flags or not. For this. Oh, that's weird. How the shit? Yeah, so it's just jumping and that's it. All right, so once you've done it uh, for a full 10 minutes, once it's past 15, you cannot go anymore. It holds you back. So it's only available um, from five past whatever hour until 15 past whatever hour, and that's where it stops. As you can see, it gives a lot of uh, gifts as well, but you cannot take it without the quest to collect the 50 gifts, I believe. So I guess if everybody does this, and a lot of gifts are stacking up at the beginning here, and it's a very good way to stack up your daily to get the 50 gifts, really. And that's all for uh, Extreme Sports. So the NPC that was standing on top of the mountain, that was offering the Crusher of Ice costume every first 15 minutes of an hour, has been moved to the NPC that's uh, doing the Extreme Sports um, quest as well. So that's where she is at. Um, if you're looking at her at a random time and it's not the first in 15 minutes of an hour or maybe 10 minutes of an hour, I might be confused right now, but then it's not going to offer these uh, wares. So it has to be within the first 10 to 15 minutes of an hour um, if you want to buy this. It also uh, requires mounting a snowflakes, which is the old version of snowflakes. Next to this, there's also a new NPC added here called Winter, Incarnation of the Winter. Now, I'm very bad in the lore of Alots, sadly, I regret, but if you go to her, through her dialogue, you'll see um, that she's actually referring, or you've seen her before in the past, apparently. Um, I'm not sure which NPC that is. If someone could comment, uh, reach me to who she's referring to, um, that you met her in the past already in the game, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Um, but it's uh, a funny little gimmick, I believe. Uh, I would like to know who that is, because she's referring to... Well, you are referring that you've seen what she's done in the past, and she keeps asking how do you know all this stuff. So I believe maybe it's Nihaz, or it's like hidden, because it's an incarnation of winter. And I know there was an Alot back in the day that had reincarnation of different seasons. Uh, you also see this Alot still in leveling Alots when you're doing it. It's not in the endgame Alots anymore. But during leveling um, Astral, you can get this a lot where you have to go through seasons. Maybe it's something to do with that. It's some reference point somewhere in the game. I'm not sure where it is. If you know, let me know. It's just something to know. It's just something to, you know, to know about. It's a funny little gimmick. 
And that's really it about this winter change. So then to review, I believe that the changes they've made are not good. Um, people are gonna be mad of course and sad because it was a lot easier to grind everything that you wanted to grind the way it was before than it is now. I understand the developers that they want people to visit their content that they made more frequently rather than just grind it out in one go and never return. I completely understand. But the way they did it now was making it more of a chore for people than it was before. I'm not sure if there's any solution to this. Uh, I think the way they did it first, they should have just let it be uh, because people were already used to that method. Um, even though it was not intended, it was what people liked because it was not intended. People like stuff, like to do stuff that's breaking the rules, that's against it, and people have more fun doing this. I can see people hooking off here and not doing it at all just because of protest, out of protest, because it's gonna take a lot more time from people that wanna get stuff uh, rather than it did before. Now for people that want to do the grind stuff uh, and go along with it, the best thing I found was that figure skating gave you the most for the fewest time spent. And you're getting 10 uh, New Year's and uh, snowflakes, so you get for both events the currency and pieces of 10, which is a lot. And you get also the pouch and the uh, winter gift on top of that. Now, uh, on top of the normal stuff that you can do with this... Um, figure skating you also get these gifts very easily from the figure skating compared to the sled um, if you do have the daily quest for fine gifts which you should do each day once um, per reincarnation if you want to optimally farm this because these gifts are very easy to get that way now you also get them from breaking the snowman the snowman also gets you gifts if you throw a snowball at people which I'll show in a bit but I think the figure skating is a lot faster to do for the amount of stuff you're getting from it. Now to show you guys the amount of gifts you get as well uh, for doing the snowman quest while you have the find the gifts. So you get the quest, you go for the branches in the forest. Then we build the snowman. So to an addition to this, uh, you can destroy your own snowman if you have the find uh, gifts quest so that you can get your own gifts from the snowman. But if you don't have the find gift quest, you cannot destroy your own snowman. So that's an addition to the snowman uh, quest. And then sharp eye steady hand, that's the one as well that's going to allow you to throw snowball at people and get presents. So when you get enough snowballs, so we got our five snowballs taken. And then uh, you simply stack up in the middle because every time you throw a snowball, a gift will drop. Depending on where you are, so if you move away from it, your gift will spawn away. So it's going to be annoying to gather everything together. So I just do it on one position and spam everything. So the gift spawn around you. Just like with old school, before the update was done. Um, but now you can spam it. There's no guy to throw it crazy with. And if you do it uh, more then it's not going to give you chest, uh, gifts, it only gives gifts as you progress this quest. Yeah, that's also pretty decent to get the gifts, but the rewards on this quest is a lot less than figure skating, so I believe figure skating to be the best quest you can spam next to completing, fulfilling the daily quests, which basically is only gift search at this point. Now I hope that this uh, video is helpful for you to get into the new changes of the winter event, so you're up to date on what's changed what the new stuff, what the new items are in the vendor, what they changed uh, mechanic wise, what's the best way to farm, because that's was my aim here. Um, if you guys want to support me, feel free to check out in the description. And that's everything I can say for now. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next one. Have a good day and a good night.